Good to see you, Secretary Raimondo. Hello. Uh, thanks so much for your leadership. American leadership in science and technology, especially the emerging uh, technologies that will dominate the 21st century, is vital to both the future of the American economy and to our competitiveness with China. I want to thank you for your significant efforts thus far to ensure that uh, USICA advances through the process. It is now, as, as you say, it's Congress's job to do our work and get this legislation in a bipartisan fashion on the president's desk. One of my top priorities in USICA is the regional technology hubs. Can you discuss the importance of the regional tech hubs and the impact they'll have on non-coastal, non-traditional areas uh, of the country? Yes, thank you, and thank you for your leadership and your spirit of cooperation on this. We talk all the time about chips, but the tech hubs are every bit as important, and they're designed to create you know, ecosystems of innovation in communities around the country that have, have been you know, overlooked. And for example, in the Midwest, there are fantastic research universities. Uh, I think Purdue just launched a whole new program for semiconductor master's programs. Right. So what we want to do is, in regions around the country, bring together research institutions with entrepreneurs, with companies, to take the great ideas coming out of the research institutions and translate them into products that we can make. I will say this. We need more fabs in America, no question about it. We need more semiconductor manufacturing capacity. That isn't nearly enough. That isn't nearly enough. We need to start increasing our innovation in all emerging technologies, in semiconductors, in design, in packaging, in energy efficiency. And all of that starts at the ground level. And it isn't all going to happen in Silicon Valley, Boston, and Austin, Texas. So this is about you know, getting throughout America, tapping into that research and creating a workforce and deep wells of you know, like I said, ecosystems of talent and entrepreneurship and innovation and, innov and you know, activity. You know, that's how I see it, Secretary. Uh, building on existing assets, uh, existing uh, bases of talent, whether it's in the universities or, or outside the walls of the university. We, we, we have incredible talent across this country. It just needs to be harnessed as we have harnessed talent uh, with the assistance of government as customer or government as investor in past generations in places like Silicon Valley or the Research Triangle of North Carolina or, or in Boston. And, and um, so places like Indiana, and uh, there are many out there that would benefit from these sorts of, of investments. Another value proposition I, I consistently hear about, uh, about uh, as, as we discuss the tech hubs is from venture capitalists. Mm. Uh, it's it's uh, a frequent lamentation of, of those who start startup businesses in, in uh, the state of Indiana that uh, you have to go to a place like Silicon Valley uh, to, to get your business model funded. And uh, the venture capitalists are saying, well, if you make these sorts of investments, we're going to be making a lot more visits too, spending more time focusing on geographies like the state of Indiana. Uh, so this is also a, a major source of interest uh, to all of them. Do you have any thoughts uh, based on your professional background yeah. before you were involved in government on that topic? Yes, I think what you say is exactly right. So right now, about 90% of all venture capital money flows into six or seven cities and towns in America. 90%. And you know what they are, as you say, Silicon Valley, Boston, right. New York, et cetera. I promise you, not 90% of all entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial talent or innovation is in those six places. But venture capitalists want to see a critical mass before they start traveling there to invest. And that's what these tech hubs will do, create some critical mass. There's also what we refer to in the business as the valley of death, which is you get a little startup money, but then it's hard to raise money here to get to scale. This is sort of the valley of death. Tech hubs will help to... Um, get companies through that valley of death so they can access deeper pools of capital. Uh, that's, that's the tech maturation uh, monies that will go to uh, yes. designated hubs, right? Yes, exactly. Well, I see my, my time is coming to an end, but uh, sometimes people try and figure out how to characterize this legislation. Is it innovation legislation? Is it a China competitiveness bill? But you know, there's a happy coincidence between the two. 
And if we can harness the talent, the energies, the entrepreneurial spirit, the, the broad, deep capital markets of the United States of America and become more innovative, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to win the 21st century for American values. So uh, they are really one, uh, they're, they're uh, two sides of the same coin. And uh, so thank you for speaking to that important feature of, of USICA. We'll, uh, we'll do our work and, and hopefully get it done here in coming months. Thank you, Chairman. Yeah, thank, thank you.